All right, so Truman, my Cape Parrot's gonna help us uh, demonstrate how to fetch. I like to use a wiffle golf ball as the object. For a macaw, you might wanna use a wiffle baseball. And for a smaller parrot, you might wanna use like a little checkers piece or something small that they can hold. You find something that's um, easy for the parrot to grip and be able to hold in its beak. So the first step is to teach a bird to hold the object. And most parrots are inquisitive and will hold things in their beak just uh, because they like to play with toys. An inquisitive bird that's never held the object before may hold it for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, a whole minute. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna have them hold the object and you're gonna put the bowl under and just wait for them to drop it. Now this guy, he knows how to fetch already, so he's waiting for the bowl to go under the ball. Uh, for a bird that doesn't know how to fetch, they're just gonna hold it and they're gonna happen to drop it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the bowl under and just catch that, that object as it falls. So what your goal is, is to let the bird drop the object into the bowl at any point when it gets bored of the object and drops it. That's when you're gonna click your clicker and give it the treat. Uh, and then the goal from there is going to be to teach the bird to only drop it in the bowl and not drop it anywhere else. So if you drop the object and it misses the bowl, that's your chance to not reward the bird and to differentiate that the bird's only being rewarded for dropping the object in the bowl rather than dropping the object altogether. That's the idea. The idea is to teach the bird to drop it right in the bowl and not anywhere else. So at first the bird's just learning to, that it's getting rewards for dropping the object because you're giving it the object, it's holding it, and it drops it at some point, that's when it's getting treats. So in order to teach it to actually fetch and to put it in the bowl as opposed to just dropping it anywhere, is to occasionally hold the bowl out of place where the bird cannot get the object inside. And then it learns that it only gets the treats when it drops the object straight in the bowl. The next step is to teach the bird to fetch the object to the bowl. So first you're gonna just put the bowl to the side of it and make it turn its head to put the object in. Right? Good word, very good. Right, and eventually you'll reach a point where you can get your bird to walk over and pick up the object that you wanted to fetch and walk over to put in the bowl somewhere else. And then you can continue to challenge your bird, have him go somewhere further, like to turn and get the object. And then maybe challenge him for a little bit of duration, have him try it a little harder, hold it longer. Good bird. The next step is to replace the bowl with your hand because ultimately we want the bird to come and bring stuff to us. So you have the bird fetch the object, but instead of putting in the bowl, you have him put it in your hand by blocking the bowl and putting it in your hand instead. The bowl makes it easier to learn than using your hand in the beginning, but once the bird knows how to put it in the bowl, you can use your hand to teach it to fetch.